This is Chef Paris and this is Chef Ernst and welcome to Gala Stars Culinary. Boy, we're gonna cook up a very delicious meal for you. Super good burgers. Sarap na Paris. Yeah, we both love this recipe. It's really fun, it's really easy, super masarap, you can do it in less than 15 minutes. So, are you ready to cook? So here we are in the kitchen, and what's the most important thing? We have to be clean, right chef? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to wash our hands. The reason for that is because we are touching food. So it's quite important that our hands are clean so that people don't get sick. So chef, what are we going to do? We are going to do super good burgers. Wow, just the name alone, super sarap. I'm excited. So our ingredients are, we have half kilo of beef, okay? Today, we are using ground beef, okay? And what is ground beef? Well, ground beef is 85% beef, 15% fat. There are three types. Hamburger, which is a little bit less, it costs a little bit less, it's 80% beef, 20% fat. Ground ground beef is 90% beef, 10% fat. So if you want it a little bit juicy, use hamburger or ground beef. What we're going to do is we're going to add it in our bowl. Now you can mix it with your hands if you like, or you can always use a kitchen aid, which we have today. All right. Then we have here our other ingredient, which is eggs. Okay, we have one egg. All right. Okay, we have some Japanese breadcrumbs. All right, simply just add that. Okay, now you can use Japanese breadcrumbs if you like, or you can use the regular breadcrumbs. Next ingredient we have here is spring onions. Now, if you're going to use spring onions, that's very nice. Another substitute aside from spring onions, pwede rin kayo gumamit ng basil or parsley. Okay, those are nice additives. All right, then we have here salt and pepper. Okay, salt, so, mm, just like that, and pepper. Now we're using fine salt because we want that intense salt flavor, All right? And we're mixing the salt and pepper together. Another tip, very important guys, when you're cooking, always mix the salt and the pepper or your spices together so that the taste will be balanced, even if you're using a KitchenAid, okay? And we just sprinkle it all over, okay? Some chefs, they often forget, they just put it on one side, then they don't mix it well. So one side is too salty, the other side, kulang ng lasa, okay? So always put it around, okay? Get that habit. Now. We will install the kitchen aid bowl in our kitchen aid and we will be using a paddle. And we start with speed number one. Okay, then we go to speed number two. Beautiful. And as you can see, the meat is incorporating with the other ingredients. Okay. Once everything is well incorporated, that's it. It's done. And here we have our nice ground beef. Now if you notice, our beef is partially frozen. That's very important. When you cook beef, whether it's hamburger, steaks, or whatever beef, it always should be partially frozen, cold, so that your beef will be very juicy and very malasa. Okay, because if you leave it outside to thaw out, what happens is even if you buy the best beef, it becomes very tough and you lose a lot of flavor. We have here a pan with wax paper so that our hamburger does not stick. Now, we're going to be using a giant, woo, big, big ice cream scooper for big, big burgers, okay? And we're also going to get our Magnolia Quick Melt Cheese. If you're going to serve, let's say, sliders or small burgers, you can always use the smaller ice cream scooper. This one is what we call the size 18. But for family and friends, I love to use this big one right here. Okay, you like this one too, right? Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get our beef. Okay, and we're gonna slide it in our bowl so it's nice and flat. We just form it, okay, form into a bowl. Just like that, okay? Nice and sticky, okay? If you want a more firm burger, you can always add more breadcrumbs if you like, okay? 
and you get another piece just like that simply just slide it over yeah mm, i love this this is lasang langit tastes like heaven talaga ito diba paris diba chef whoa come on smile this is very good now after forming it into a ball okay we can set this here okay and what we're going to do is we're going to get our quick melt cheese and we're going to put it in between the burger so this type of burger you can eat it like a regular burger or what some people do they tear it apart while eating it so this one you put the cheese okay and you can be very playful with this one you can put quick melt cheese and then a little parmesan cheese so you can mix a hard cheese with a soft cheese and since i love this cheese i'm going to add a little bit more and okay we're going to close it and form it into a ball we have to close it well then we form it into a patty so paris we're going to have a lot of shows right we're going to make great recipes for those who are interested we have facebook silvia reynoso gala culinary okay this will come out we also have a website www.silviareynosogala.com and we also have a facebook fan page Gala Stars Culinary. So I'll see you guys there, all right? So here we have our grill. Now there are two types of grill that you can use. You can, any pan, as long as it's flat. You can use a grill pan that has grooves, just like this, which you can use at home. Or you can use what we call the super grill. It's a nice flat pan. But very important, when you cook your burgers, your pan should be flat so that the cooking will be very even. Right? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the heat, we're going to put it on high fire. Then we're going to brush it with some oil. Now you can use any vegetable oil that you like. You can use canola oil, corn oil, or my favorite, the Nutri oil. This is a silicone brush, okay, so it's heat proof. Once the pan gets hot, or our super grill, we will lower the heat. So that when we cook our burgers, it will not be burned. The secret to making good burgers is using low heat. Heat the pan first, right Paris? We heat the pan first. Once it begins to get hot, we lower the heat. So that the outside will be evenly cooked, but also the inside. If you cook at high heat, what happens? The outside, chunug, super burn. While the inside will still be raw. Now I think I'm going to need a chance or metal spatula. There it is. I think I'm going to need another one. There it is. All right. So we're going to cook right now. So here we are. We're going to get our burger and we're going to put it in our pan. Ooh, look at that sizzle. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. Wow. Mmm. Chef, what do you think? Nice, no? Mmm, sarap. Okay. Now, very important when you're cooking your burger, don't play with it. Don't touch it. You know, don't press it. You know, like what they do in the movies. Don't do that. If you do that, what will happen? You have the toughest burger in the world. Sayang lang. Okay. What you can do is brush it with a little bit of oil on the side. Not on top. Okay. It should be on the side so that it won't burn. Okay. If you put it on top, the top part will be black. Now, it depends on how big your burger is. Mmm, you like that Paris? Yeah, you can smell it, right? It's cooking. Now, it's very important, um, depending on the size, how long will your burger cook? For this size, it takes about four and a half minutes to five minutes per side. So, if you want it medium well, if you want it well done, five minutes to six minutes, okay? But it's always nice to cook your burger medium, medium well, with a little bit of blood in the middle, so that it still has that nice juicy flavor, but you know, really, really sarap na scent and smell, okay? So we just cook it like that, all right? And as you can see, nice sizzle. And again, very important, the heat should just be medium low or low fire. And here it is, it's almost done. Got that nice color. Woo! 
Yeah, look at that. And you get this one when you flip, one big scoop, just like that. So it comes off easily. Wow, look at that. That really looks good. All right, and here it is. Nice firm texture, yeah, but still very juicy. So we turn off the heat and we get our burgers. Okay, so we get another one. Oh, as you can see, this one, the cheese oozed out a little bit. We like that. Okay, put it there. Woo, this is perfect for any occasion. I really love this. This is one of my favorite burgers all time. All right. And the last piece. Woo. Okay, after this, we're going to put this on a plate and we're going to make really good burgers. Super good burgers. All right, so here we are. We're now going to make our creamy cheese sauce. So we have here our cream cheese. Ooh, I love cream cheese. If you want an extra special, you can use mascarpone cheese if you like, okay? Or any cheese that you like. And we have here some yogurt. Mmm, creamy yogurt. Then you can use a wire whisk if you like, but if you want it really easy, then you use this one, the hand mixer. Hold the bowl, spoon number one. There. We're giving it a good mix. So chef, you know, we always mix in one direction. Then we go to speed number two, more power. We mix this for about 30 seconds to one minute. Okay, just like that. What we will do is we're going to put some of our cream cheese sauce into our sauce boat and then we're going to leave some for our burger our burger chef paris okay and here we have our hamburger bun okay open that then what we're going to do is we're going to put some lettuce then we have here some tomatoes okay and you can be very playful. You can put any vegetable that you like. If you like to use bell peppers, red, green, yellow. And then, after which, we're gonna get one super good burger with cheese. Here you go. And last but not least, the best part, the cream cheese sauce. This is the stuff that we want. Okay, so we get that. Put that, woo! Oh yeah, try to scrape as much as we can because we love, we can even put it on the bread, just like that. And voila, here you go. A very good, super good burger. Wow, mm, 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 mm. super delicious. Well, this is our show, but if you want the recipe, just look at the description below. And by the way, we are on Facebook, Sylvia Reynoso Gala Culinary. We also have the Gala Stars Culinary, both Facebook fan page, just look for it. All the details are there. Website, Twitter, Instagram, you name it, we're on the social media. Well, I hope you enjoyed this super good burger as Chef Paris and I have presented to you. We'll see you next time for more great recipes. See you then.